What to do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video, your girl is here to do a shop my stash. I quite literally did shop my stash for almost everything. The only thing that is not different, um, I went ahead and still used my normal brow kit just because your girl just really wants to get rid of a brow kit. I have two brow kits, like a um, Palmade. I have too many brow products. I need to just let go. So hopefully I can get through some of these things. I actually might be giving my best friend something that I just recently found and I forgot I had. So she can have that. Um, and just some other products that I haven't used in quite a while. I will have everything listed down below for you guys. But I did quite literally tell you guys what I was putting on when I was doing it. I also did a very tangential kind of synopsis of the beauty community i'm sorry it just <laughs> it was all over the place but if you want to see how i created this really neutral natural look um and you want to hear me babble then just keep watching So I am here to do a shop my stash. I went ahead and emptied my old shop my stash for work. I emptied a bag that I had for a trip and I found new old makeup. Um, but I also just went through and just shopped the stuff that I knew I already had. And I've gone ahead, can we, can we get it together? Gone ahead and just put all the stuff that I plan to use in my bag. Um, so, I have basically everything that is going to be different than what I normally use. Um, and we're just going to kind of sit down and chat for a little bit. Um, let me just zoom out a little bit more and we'll see how it goes. So the first thing I'm going to use is my Tatcha the Silk Canvas. I could have sworn I finished this, but lo and behold, this was just in my work um, makeup. And I did enjoy this primer, which is why I like thought I finished it because I didn't have it anymore but how are you guys is everything good um definitely let me know if things are going bad good if you've had some really cool things happen um and yeah I'm excited things are happening behind the scenes for me and life and I'm very happy so hopefully I'll have some good news for you guys coming soon. Um, and definitely let me know down below if you found any really cool black owned brands, regardless of what they are. Um, I've been kind of compiling a bunch of brands that I really want to try um, through various different mediums whether it's makeup skincare i found some like food black owned brands a bunch of stuff so let me know down below if you have something that you would really want to recommend to me um as i always have something linked down below i honestly can't even remember right now but i have stuff down below and i will also um link down below a website where you can find a bunch of black owned uh, bookstores in case you are interested because i really love to read um it has been a very nice pastime for me as of late and I found that website that has a compilation of a bunch of black owned bookstores and I do intend to buy from the bookstores near me very very soon. I just need to get through some of the books that I've already read. I need to go wet my sponge and then we will move on. Okay so um, I didn't say before but sorry if you can hear the background. Now I'm gonna use my Tarte Double Duty Beauty, no my Tarte Face Tape Foundation. I have this in 57 in rich neutral um i don't even know if you guys know that i have this or not probably maybe through like i don't know but i got this at the very end of the time that i could buy makeup and yeah okay so as it is summer and i've had a lot of time off i've been working out a lot and as i have been working out a lot my skin has got darker but this part of my body hasn't so this is like a really weird situation where like 
my body isn't on one color as is normal i have never been able to understand how people can get their bodies to like all be one shade like it's fascinating to me i just <laughs> i don't know how to do it so i'm just gonna add a couple of pumps of my darker fenty foundation which is in the shade 470 um just to kind of maybe do a happy medium between my neck and my real complexion right now because <laughs> it definitely ain't that Tarte foundation, I can tell you that. But either way, I enjoy both of these foundations and I am enjoying how this is laying out. Um, what do I want to talk about? So a lot of things are going on um, in the makeup community. I have just recently seen what's going on with like Shane Dawson and um what's his name Jeffree Star and all of that and honestly it's just it it I'm not surprised I'll put it to you that way it was just it was a recipe waiting for disaster their relationship the whole palette situation um and Hopefully everybody can just grow from this situation. Whether you support them, don't, just grow. But that, that's all I ask. I think this is like a happy medium. Um, it's definitely not my arm shade, but it's good enough. So like I said, I mixed my Fenty and my face tape foundations together. Um, and yeah, I just, it's disappointing. I feel very similar to a lot of people. Um, this is my Maybelline Better Skin in medium deep. Um, I feel disappointed like a lot of other influencers because it sucks that there's a couple of bad eggs at the top, or not necessarily even bad eggs. There are a couple of people at the top who seemingly are the beauty community they're seemingly the people who like really know what's going on but like in the grand scheme of things they're just the entertainers of the beauty community they're the people who have the most drama they're the people who act the craziest the wackiest all of that either if it's their personality or it's not um just to get the most views and they have the most subscribers all of that but people who are like natural talk the way they normally do act the way they normally do they are in the bottom and they're the true beauty community you know so it's disappointing but there are definitely things that we can do such as that um that one tag my beauty community tag i think that's definitely a good thing i am thinking on it i don't know if i have answers to all of the prompts which is why i have not already done it but we will see if i can figure it out because if i can i definitely will um do that tag i also just want to i wanted to try and finesse a way that i could actually do that tag only promoting black youtubers because i find that in this community and any community in general it's harder for black youtubers to get their foot out there um i see so many black youtubers that i feel like should definitely be having higher um subscriber counts even i mean i'm not just saying that because there it's only black people who have that situation everybody has that situation um i just i want to support more black youtubers that's just you know it is what it is um so i would like to just kind of do a video really just shouting out the black youtubers which is why i did ask for more youtubers that you guys support that are black um because there are many that either i have not found or whatever reason um i just don't subscribe to but that being said on this channel i am subscribed to over 100 people i do not have I believe any form of prejudice when it comes to subscribing to people I think I'd rather subscribe to you and see if there are videos that I can uh, align with throughout your postings than wait until it, that that made no sense let's let's start again sis I subscribe to people before I even know if we align um, personality wise when it comes to when it comes to um, what you post because I rather 
one have the opportunity to see what it is that you actually post about on a regular basis but I also like to get kind of uh, an opinion on the person throughout multiple videos I don't like to make a decision based on one or two videos that may or may not um, go the way I want it to or whatever have you now I'm using this essence loose powder and peach I feel like a lot of people didn't really give this powder any time of day because this had like a a bit of a controversy because they had like originally um, tried to promote this as being a collaboration with Casey Holmes and she came back and clapped on them like this is not a collaboration don't use my name so yeah but either way I think this powder is actually really good I really enjoy the powder um, and I think it works the shade works for my complexion and all that so yeah I don't even know if this is still a thing but this is a shot my sash so we finna use it um what was I saying so yeah I just want to try and promote more black everything all things you know um which is why I have been trying to shop more black brands when I can so I have I just recently bought from one black owned nail polish brand I have multiple different mascara options um because I need a new mascara I hate this mascara I doubt I'm gonna enjoy the other one that I have so I just just getting ready to kind of kick those both to the curb really um but yeah I've just been really just trying to promote my community my people in any way that I can I'm also like I said kind of hemming and hawing over a new potential series on my channel where I really highlight more brands um that otherwise i may not feel i'm highlighting enough or whatever i'm just trying to do my part the way that i can for a community that i truly truly um am a part of a community that i really want to prosper all of that jazz um So now I'm going to go into a really old bronzer. I love this baby. This is my ColourPop Bits and Pieces. Bits and Pieces bronzer. Um, and we're just going to really lather up my brush. This was one of the first bronzers that I really fell in love with. And yeah. These kids are really, they really fooling out there. I guess it'd be that way. When you get out of school a whole couple of months early and then summer comes, I mean, why wouldn't you fool? Anyways, still love this bronzer. It still really does a really, really good job at just pulling everything together. And I feel like now I'm a little bit closer to my arm shape I feel like why can't I get my arm to be there we're, we're just gonna go by the hand <laughs> my hand and my face now kind of look a little bit similar so I found my Ofra setting setting spray I didn't even <laughs> I had this in my car in my trunk no less so we finna spray this just to have everything set in a little bit The fragrance on that thing is intense, but I think that overall I enjoy the setting spray 
and you know I already have it so I am definitely going to use this and what I intend to do is when I finish this I will put my fix setting spray in this um, so that the sprayer actually works and we can get through that product too so I will keep that setting spray but it's just it's on retain retainer right now it's in the back um, next I'm gonna use my Mac flirting with danger mineralized um, blush I really do enjoy this blush but now I just need to find a brush to use here we go um so yeah I just want to continue to support more black people in this community and people of color in general I just find that it's harder for people of color to really get their foot out there um and it's crazy to me like Brianna uh Kelsey Brianna J I feel like out of all the black youtubers that really specialize in luxury she does not get much clout and that doesn't make any sense to me like to me she seems the most professional I mean she has her life together and like I wish I had my life together like I really do it's nowhere near together and she just she comes on here and she's like hello my name is Kelsey Brianna J and I'm here to be professional and on point and you can't see me and it hurts me that I saw her post a, chan a video talking about if she was gonna quit YouTube and I'm like no you shouldn't quit YouTube you are a great great youtuber and you deserve to be here you deserve to get the attention that i feel like other people do and she works hard so it's just it's crazy to me how a lot of youtubers are like that um what's um my friend um karen harris i feel like she's been on this platform for quite a while working her butt off and she is just now starting to get some attention she's still just now starting to get some pr from brands that i feel like she should have get been getting pr from out of all the youtubers who actually use indie brands when it comes to people who her complexion they're a very rare amount of people who are a youtuber i'm not talking about instagrammers instagrammers i feel like it's a little bit more kind of equal but youtuber wise like i feel like it's harder for people of color to really get their foot out there and so like for karen to be on this platform i want to say it's been three plus years and she's only where she's at like i just i feel like she could be further she should be further like i feel like we just need to continue to promote people who should be getting further like there are so many people I feel like who are getting clout and then you have those big youtubers who are like unnecessary clout and I'm just like I don't understand I don't understand why are you here like why so I think just kind of like how we say you need to vote to make a difference you need to subscribe to make a difference if you don't like where the community is right now subscribe to these smaller youtubers who are actually showing you items that you want to see sh talking about the products that you want to see talking about things that actually matter so that they can get to the top and they can continue to perpetuate um i'm just going to throw on my lip product too and this is from this is from becca right yeah this is from becca in hot tamale summer so you know I had to bring out a red a bright orange red okay so for the main attraction today I'm actually gonna go ahead and use my sassy Sienna's palette <laughs> I couldn't even tell you I couldn't even pretend to tell you when the last time I used this palette was like I couldn't um and I think just to kind of shop my stash, I'm going to go ahead and just use this Nomad um, primer. I don't use this very often, if ever. Um, I just recently used this once um, to create one of my latest looks on Instagram. And it worked out. So let's just use it again. Um, but anyways, 
uh what was i saying yeah i just think that we all as a community need to band together and just push up the people who deserve to be there now all of this ranting aside i'm not saying that people who are not people of color do not deserve um the subscriber count that they have or they don't deserve to be pushed forward because there are people regardless of who they are what they are any of that that i feel like are not getting the clout that they deserve um and so that's what i think i'm gonna do if i can i will try and just focus on those people for my um for my beauty community tag if i do that tag if not i will just do a video just promoting youtubers that i believe really need to get more subscribers because i feel like they deserve it i and that's just kind of how i'm gonna do that situation so i need to do my eyes and just stop talking because i've just been talking for a minute and then i'll hop off camera because i don't even know how i'm gonna do my brows i don't have a brow gel my brow gel hasn't arrived and my old brow gel is <laughs> done so um this is what my sassy sienna palette looks like i've added as you can see that white and the black to add more depth in this palette so what i'm going to do is just try and finesse a look really i don't have the shade name so sorry um but this is the lightest orange in this palette so i'm just gonna blow this out in my crease this is my sonya g detail pro so this is a really good brush um, for your eyes if you just want something really just blown out, but also for your face. And that's why she created it. And it's clean, so we're just going to use that. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, let's see. I found two other clean brushes so we're good to go with this crease work action um next i'm just gonna go in a slightly smaller crease brush and we're just gonna go into the second to darkest shade in this original palette we're gonna go ahead and take that and we're gonna start to really deepen out the crease this is yet another orangey brown but this definitely has more brown to it um so yeah definitely let me know if there's any youtuber that like i said you guys want me to really um find i've been finding more youtubers with all of the um, lives that people have been doing um either i'm actually on the live so i can actually see the people commenting and like actually being in the community but also when i just go back and watch the replay i um learn about more people so i've personally subscribed to at least 20 more channels lately um just so i can get an opinion on the people i just like to get other people's opinions other people's perspectives all of that jazz so we are gonna just talk about it. I didn't tell you guys the highlighter that I put on, did I? I'm sorry. I put on the Lunar Beauty highlighter in Jupiter. Yeah, my bizzles. <laughs> Ooh, look at that attention span. Um, and then I'm gonna take an even smaller brush and go into the darkest brown that they had originally in this palette. So, yeah, so far, I guess this palette isn't terrible. And I don't think it was ever terrible. I think I just didn't know what I was doing. And on top of that, just having the limited use that I did, not being able to really know what I'm doing um, and how to create looks with such a limited amount of shadows just did not help either. But I will say this is blending really, really nicely and I am able to create some really nice depth with just the shades that are provided.
Okay, I want a wee bit more depth, just a little bit. That's just, <laughs> it's just me. Um, so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try for it. I'm just gonna clean off a brush and I'm gonna go into the black that I popped in here. This black, I believe is from a Kat Von D palette. Which palette? Don't get me to lie. But I believe it is from one of her palettes, or er, KBD palette, sorry. So, yeah, we're just going to blend this puppy out. It's super pigmented, so I do enjoy that. this isn't half bad let's just go ahead and do my lower lash line really quickly on just the outer edge I'm just gonna put a little bit of this black alrighty then we're gonna go into the brush that I have the deepest brown in and we're gonna put that all around my lower lash line Oop, I crud mud I dipped into the black <laughs> And then we're going to go into the darker orange that I have in my crease. And that's going to be the last shade. It's interesting. That one brown, it low-key looks like I don't have anything on my lid. <laughs> um, so now what I'm going to do inner corner wise is I'm actually going to go in with the white that I have in this palette. It's just a white matte. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that and just pop that right in the inner corner. Ooh, child, ooh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, get up, okay. We just gonna blend so the unnecessarynessness goes away, but that'll also bring some brightness. Oh, sis, what is you doing? Get it together. Okay, very simple eye look, but I feel like this is summer. I mean, you don't want too, too much because you finna sweat. Um, so now I get the lovely pleasure of trying to do my brows. I think I'm gonna try and use this wax in my brow kit because I don't have anything else. Um, but I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna come back and maybe wrap up the blabbering that I've been talking about this whole time. Who knows? Maybe the kids will just wrap it up for me. Okay, so I figured everything out. Well, not my life, but I finished my makeup look. Um, so in my waterline, I have the LA Girl Ultimate Auto Liner in the shade Super Bright. It's just a nude liner. And then I actually used the mascara that I actually like. And I used the Maybelline Total Temptation. This was a mascara that I found in one of those random bags that I had just been avoiding depacking basically. But this is my finished look. Very neutral, very subtle for me, but I enjoyed it. Um, and I'm happy that I was able to use some products that I haven't used in quite a bit of time. I'm happy that I actually took the time to use this Dose of Colors palette. I feel like now I know what this palette's capable of doing. So hopefully I'll reach for this a little bit more on days where I just want a very quick, subtle 
look especially for that brown that brown pretty much is my skin tone at least for right now so it could be a super super good transition color lich color anything under the sun and all the other products i really enjoyed there's not one product that i did not enjoy i'm enjoying my base i think everything was set really well um this face tape doesn't last on me necessarily as well as it does on um mel thompson but it does last on me pretty well and with that fenty uh foundation it should last even longer but i'm gonna stop rambling the girl is going to sign out um i will see you guys in my next video as